Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another video here in Sri Lanka, specifically somewhere in the jungle. I actually can't tell you where I'm at because to be honest with you, I don't have a clue. But I'm here with the British lad. Hello, hello. And we're here with the squad here. We just hopped off at this uh, train station right here because we missed our stop. If you saw in the last video, we just decided to hop right off. There wasn't even a transition period when we jumped off. Like it was just like, boom, grab the bags and then we're off the train. So now we are here uh, somewhere in the jungle. And we are going to be getting a tuk-tuk that the nice gentlemen here at the train station are coordinating for us, a private tuk-tuk. So we'll see how much that actually costs us because it sounds kind of expensive at first glimpse. And we will head on over to Nuria Ella. I don't really know what there is to do here besides visit uh, tea plantations. I hear there's some waterfalls in the area. So we're gonna kind of see where the day takes us. Let's go ahead and do it. A huge thank you to our friends. We just hopped off at this uh, at this train station. What's the name of this train station? Parakumpura. Parakumpura. We decided we're gonna get off. It looked like a beautiful village because we went past our stops. So they were nice enough to arrange a tuk-tuk for us and we'll be heading into the city. Estute Machans, thank you so much. We'll see you. Good goodbye. So guys, we're taking our baggage right across this way. There's a uh, pathway right across the train tracks here. This might be our tuk-tuk driver right there. And here we go. Crossing the tracks now, going down some steps to get down to the uh, road. Oh yeah, we got all of our baggage right here, guys, as you can see. But it's a beautiful walkway. I can hear the tuk-tuk somewhere around here. Hopefully he's got some serious horsepower for this, guys, because we've got all of our baggage, plus me and Harry. We got some big hills to go up. There he is. Our guys worked it out. It's 3,500 to bring us to New Aurelia. So as you can imagine, the train ticket only being 200. That's what happens when you go off at the wrong stop. And there we are. Hello, Machan. Subo Desana. Komada. Subo Sandawa. Yeah. All right, we're going to load up here. We got the tiger print in here. Oh, yeah. So we're going to be cruising. So we're cruising up to New Aurelia, yeah? Okay. Stuti. Abishko. Yeah. Abishko, yeah. So he is a uh, private tuk tuk driver in this area. We got lucky we could even find one because the village that we're in has only 200 people. One of the gentlemen there was telling me. So, as you can see, everybody probably knows everybody, but it's a beautiful place to wake up to every day. Right now, you got a bit of a mystical type of feeling with a little bit of uh, rain coming in here and there, like some drizzling, but then just tea plantations. Hello! They probably don't get too many foreigners that are cruising around here, but I believe not too far away from here, you can find some waterfalls and a few tea plantations. Also the guys we were just with told us about. So we're cruising, it's about 3,500. We've got uh, locals cruising down. Hello, Machan. Komada. Yeah, very nice people. Everyone's got a big smile on their face. So yeah, excited. It's, honestly, sometimes when this stuff happens where we get off at the wrong one, like I feel like it's meant to happen just so we can see like another side that, you know, no tourists are getting off of this area. So for us to be able to see this side, I'm sure we're gonna get a very unique drive through the mountains. And it'll take us a little bit of time because we're in a rickshaw and so all uphill with all of our luggage. Plus two chicken biryani belly men here. Yeah, and I'm very, very hungry right now. Yeah, same. And so, yeah, that's where we're gonna be cruising, guys. 3,500 to get us from the uh, train station. So as you can imagine, that is, I wanna say 17 times the price of the train ticket by getting off to the wrong station. So we've got some local people working uh, on the tea plantations, hello. And so, yeah, we're cruising guys. I'll keep you in the loop when we uh, come across any more interesting stuff. Hello. Nice locals all around here. So I bet we'll have a lot of sporadic moments where the camera just pops out of nowhere. Just made it into the city center of 
Luaria Ella, Elia, I'm saying that wrong for sure. But uh, we're about 1.4 kilometers away from where we're staying. We're staying at a place called Panoramic Holiday Seagull Complex. The place is about $127 for split between the two of us for us to have like a two bedroom, actually might even be three bedroom, but that was the only option they had apartment. So I'm not gonna tell you anything else about it now. Just wait until we get there because it looks like it's gonna have a nice view of the city. And oh my God, I'm getting hungry seeing these markets and these food shops. I haven't eaten anything yet today. All right, Machan, thank you so much. Uh, we owe you. Oh, you can pull in? All right, sweet. <sighs> Hello, Machan. Komada. Oh, yeah, hotel. Machan. Okay. Hotel? Oh, we're going in? All right, we're going. We're hopping back in. The cruise continues. And we're, uh, we're going to Hyundai right on in there. Apiamo. <laughs> yeah, Apiamo right on in there. All right. And this is it, yeah, Machan? Right. Hello, Machan. Oh, yeah, good booking. Through booking.com, yeah. Name? Uh, oh. uh, name's uh, Mac. Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Let me get my stuff. Yeah. Don't want to forget it. Yes, yeah? yes, sir. Okay. Still team, my Machan. Appreciate it. Wow. Oh, we've been hooked. We have been hooked, I repeat. There we go. Oh, Officina? All right. So we're entering into the office here. And we are. All right, guys, seems like this is an apartment complex. So we've got our booking through booking.com. But my guess is it's maybe like private apartments yeah. that have gone through booking.com. Like the central office must be like the management of the whole complex. But we are figuring that out right now. All right, so this is your place? Yes, sir. This is your place? I don't know, I'm working here. Oh, uh, working here. Very nice. And what's your name? My name is Lahiro. Lahiro. Nice to meet you, Lahiro. Where are you coming from, sir? Uh, we're coming from. We were just in Candy. Oh. Yeah. So now we're here in uh, Nuoria Ella for a night. Panoramic apartment, it says up top. Oh, yeah. That's a good sign. Oh, something smells good. Mm -hmm. Fresh curry? I think Harry's gonna go taste some over there. That's someone's house. Subo Dankana. Subo Dankana. It smells like Subo Dankana. <laughs> Panoramic. We have arrived to the Casanita. Uh, Stutin. Oh, all right. We are here. Okay, this looks like a vibe. All right, guys, let's take you for a tour of the place we're staying at. Like I mentioned just a little bit ago, we are paying roughly $127. So it's nearly $65 US dollars per person. And the nice part is you'll see here, there are so many beds. So had we had Luke and Ali here, we could bring the cost even lower. The place literally, had, like, especially if you're couples and you're sharing like the same room, you could literally fit like maybe 12 people here. So anyways, let's start with the tour. This is gonna be my room. Got a little desk here and oh, Oh, let's open this thing up. Do I see sunlight coming in? That looks like sunlight coming through, guys. This is the uh, panora. This place is called the Panoramic View uh, Apartment in the Seagull Complex. So as you can see here, we're getting a little breakthrough of sun. So I'm getting hopeful here, guys. But anyways, here is the bed. Let's check it out. Oh. Oh, oh fell asleep there, guys. We're back. We're back. And here we go, cruising through. We got the British lad already working away. No, no days off, it's like he's back at boot camp. Let's go! <laughs> and then here's another balcony here, panoramic views. Obviously those blinds right there open up. Leather, comfortable couches. Coming around this way, we've got a little dining room here. I guess you can call it even a workstation. Fridge it's right there in the center. Another bathroom, another bedroom. And inside the bedroom, we've got bathroom. It looks like a laundry machine and a shower right there. So that is quite nice. Coming around this way, we've got the kitchen. So we'll probably not be doing too much cooking because we want to test out the local cuisine, but still nice to uh, show you guys what it offers. I think it's a gas stove there, all the dishes, utensils you need. And maybe this is another entrance out there. Coming around this way, we actually have a second floor, more of like a loft, I guess you could call it with a nice layout to it. You know, these are like marble stairs leading up and more of your mood lighting up here. We've got plenty of space here. We've got one double bed here, a second double bed here. That's Ali and Luke's, but they're not here. They're not showing up for it. And then it looks like maybe even a game table. I have no idea what type of game this is, but it looks like you try and slide it in the goals maybe. 
No, I have no idea how this plays. Maybe it's like some sort of air hockey. Let's try it out. Yeah, something like that. No clue, guys. Then over here, pop the lights on and another bed. So as you can see, you can pretty much fit two people on each one of those beds. So just up here in the loft, obviously it'd be a little tight, but you could literally get six people up here, plus the bedrooms downstairs. So, so much room, which is quite nice. And that is the tour here. The Wi-Fi is pretty good. I just did a speed test on my phone. It's 20 megabytes, megabits uh, download and two megabits upload. So not great for a YouTuber, but at least the download is fast enough. It's fast enough for be able to, us to be able to upload a couple things overnight. But other than that, uh, we're a bit limited. So that is it. We're gonna head down to go get some food now. So I'm going to actually change into a sweater and pants. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt because it's very cold. So here we go. Whoa, and we'll bam. That was a fast way to change clothes right there, guys. Let's go get something to eat. So guys, right there, you can see a better view. That is where we're staying at. Me and the British lot are walking down the road here. You get a smell of many different things. I think it's almost like a smell of spices. It's very, very inviting. And the town and the roads are pretty quiet here. It's a, I don't even know what day it is, it's a Monday? Monday morning, so maybe everyone's at work or, oh wow, the scent is so strong. It's very distracting, but nice. I wish one day on YouTube, there'll be a way to share the smells. Whoa, full speed ahead, my guy. Whoa, I guess they are speed racers around here. So yeah, we're, we're kind of just strolling down the streets right now, guys. We haven't had any food yet today, so we drove past a coffee shop that looked delicious uh, in terms of the coffee, and they also said they have a restaurant. So it's basically a double win, if you ask me. Let's see if we can flag one of these took daddies, though. Nope, nope, hello. Oh, they're nice. They'll give us a little honk. But yeah, we're probably going to eat there. I know it's probably not uh, eating the local food here, but we are in kind of like a somewhat of an English town, it feels like. So the Brits back in heaven. And it makes sense because it is cloudy too. But apparently this time of year, we are being told that it's sunny every day. And then like May, June, July, August, it rains all the time. So we're literally just unlucky that we're here on a rainy and a cloudy day. But you know, British people, they always bring the weather with them. Yeah. But like, I've been I've been here for nearly a week now and I'd say 75% of those days been this weather. So yeah. I don't know guys, they keep telling me that it's only for a few days, but yeah. know, maybe I did bring the weather with me. I think you did because before he arrived, it was sunny every day in Colombo, in Candy, never even saw any rain. I don't even know if I saw many clouds in the sky, so. Yeah guys, we're gonna cruise down this way a little bit. Maybe we'll hop in a tuk-tuk. Maybe we'll end up getting the steps in. Honestly, it's probably good for the legs anyways, and these biryani bellies, so we'll see you once we get a little closer. So guys, I just looked it up. We're going to the um, Nuria Ella, Elia. I never know how to say it, right? Yeah, Nuwara Elia Coffee yeah. Center place. So it's about a five minute walk from where we're at. Actually, it's a nice walk over here. We've got some beautiful street art here, probably from the local artists, and just a pretty relaxing area. Since it's a smaller city, you don't have as much of the hustle and bustle. You still got tuk-tuks moving around, some people speeding, but generally it's uh, pretty relaxing. So we're coming up on the uh, coffee shop here right now. It's a nice uh, center spot in town here with a good looking vibe. It seems like there might even be two floors to enjoy a little coffee and some grub. So let's head on in there. Oh yeah, it's smelling good guys, uh-huh. Looks like they've got sandwiches. Looks like they've got a bunch of good stuff here. All right, uh, maybe on the other side is where we get the grub. Hello, my friend. Hello. How are you? Uh, looking to get some food and coffee here, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, upstairs is better view? Perfect. Stuti. <laughs> All right, so we've got the coffee bar right up here and we are heading up. It smells very good, so we're gonna be quite pleased with it. Uh, Michan, sorry. Uh, can we start out with two iced coffees, please? Yes. Yeah, let's do it there. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's see what we got going on here for food over at the Nuar Nuara Elia Coffee Center and Restaurant. Honestly, it smells like they have a mix of a little bit of everything. Breakfast options, soups, starters, pastas, noodles, rice. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be in heaven, bro. They even have za. Oh. Oh, man. You gonna be ready for this? Sandwiches though. Probably gonna keep it light though, because most days I've had quite a bits of food here. So we're gonna go ahead with, with a club sandwich, I think. Oh, or the pasta. The pasta's got my name on it. I'm gonna decide once he comes up here, ask for his recommendation. Oh, there we go, Stute. This looks delicious. And we can have uh, one more, yeah? Perfect, so two for me, one for me, yeah. Stute Machan. Stute. All right, this is, uh, this is actually why I needed tastes kind of warm. This is actually why I needed two coffees because when you look at this one, you look very closely 
and it might disappear on you. Oh no! Oh, uh oh. Is that warm? A little bit. Perfect. Thumbnail right there. I did not expect this in 2022. <laughs> well, that was a failure, guys. As you can see, this is one of my favorite shirts, and now it is destroyed. Fantastic. Well, bam, just cleaned it. How'd that happen? It's a secret, you'll never know. And uh, for me, Machan, uh, could I please have the mixed noodles? Yeah. That's uh, beef and chicken? Yes. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, just that. And then two plates for the egg fried rice. Okay. Machan. It's gonna be delicious. Thank you. You recommend it? It's a good one? Good choice. What's your name? My name is Lapchito. 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 Okay. That's nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh, that's looking delish. Uh huh. Oh, this is the mixed one? Perfect. Stute Machan. Oh, yeah. That's fully loaded. Chili. Chili? Oh, awesome. awesome. So, it's something a little spicy, spicy, yeah? It's spicy. Oh, perfect. Spicy. Stute. All right. Uh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, do you have uh, forks, please? Uh, thank you. Oh, perfect. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to dig right into this nice, massive meal. My first meal of the day, honestly, because today we started so early catching the train and just really never had a chance to get some food. So what we have here is mixed noodles. We've got some beef in there. We've got some chicken maybe hidden in there. Looks like some tomatoes, maybe some shredded peppers, diced peppers. And I'm just gonna tell you what else I taste after I take a bite. I'm seriously so hungry. Hmm, pretty good. I definitely expected a different flavor. That wasn't a GWD. Mm, mm, mm. It was a little more plain than I expected, to be yeah. quite honest with you. Not to say it's not good, it was just a bit plain, but... I feel like we need to toss a little bit. This was like chili powder, peppers? Chili flakes. Chili flakes. Maybe something like that. Thank you. Stuti Machan. Maybe we need to try that. Spice it up a little bit. Mm, mm hmm Oh, yeah. There we go. We're spicing it up a bit. That's what we need. We need to toss a little bit of that oh, in Oh, yeah? This is that does the trick. Sauce. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Oh, we got to make sure we... Uh, have that in small pieces, guys, because it is a very hot. So it is pretty spicy here. Actually, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and mix this in, get that going, and then we will get a proper bite here. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Much better. It needed that spice. There was something missing at first, and it was the spice. I guess like every single Sri Lankan meal I've had at this point. It's quite spicy, and so the fact that the chili peppers were, or the chili flakes were, aside from it, was exactly the key ingredient. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna get a little bit of this, uh, is this egg rice, chicken fried rice? Egg rice, I believe. Egg rice, all right, let's get a little bit. Nice hefty scoop there. Uh-huh, oh yeah. We'll leave half for the hair man, but uh, I gotta get a proper portion for myself there. Uh-huh, oh, it's got a mind of its own, kind of <laughs> shooting around there. And let's just go with, do the spoon because that's going to make it a bit easier actually use that as a portion spoon here we go let's try it out mm. Mm -hmm. that looks good mm -hmm. oh yeah that is quite nice but same thing as with the mixed noodles we need some of that chili flakes in there i'm getting addicted to spices guys i blame sri lanka but thank you mm -hmm. there we go oh yeah guys oh, i'm not gonna say it's the best one i've ever had but it's delicious, especially with the chili flakes there. Gives it a uh, proper zing. So, good meal here. What are your thoughts, bro? You dug in a little bit? Oh, certified dank meal. I like the mix of the rice and the noodles. You know, if you get bored of the noodles, you go for the rice. If you get bored of the rice, you go for the noodles. They're really good. It's not the most vibrant meal I've ever had, you know. So I've added a little tomato ketchup to it. Don't know if that's a, you know, a wrong thing to do. Sometimes, when I was younger, I used to add tomato ketchup to everything and people would tell me off for it, but I think they gave it to me, so I'm gonna try it. And I'm not sure what this is, like marmalade? I think so, it's super sweet. Or chutney, maybe it's chutney. Maybe it's a... <laughs> marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that for shrimp or something? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so you heard it, guys. And I think you'll know just by looking at my plate, I've only got like one or two bites left. And so I was quite happy with the meal. Could have eaten anything, though. I'll come transparent with you, because I am so hungry. Like, I could probably get another plate, but I'm watching the biryani belly, so I'm gonna skip that. Skip that second plate. But delicious, guys. Let's get on with the day after this. So, guys, we've uh, teleported outside. Just hanging out, catching some uh, fresh air here. Finishing up the coffee with some views so we can see what it's like as the busyness of the city continues to surround us. It seems like it's getting a bit more 
energetic in the town, probably because it's getting to the end of the day, so people are leaving work. But anyways, uh, the meal total for us was about four, just under four thousand, so thirty-eight fifty. So you round that up to four thousand. That's about twenty bucks, ten bucks per person for us to eat at a nice place, a couple coffees, and some good food. So very nice. All right, guys, we'll toss our friends a little uh, tip there on the meal. Twenty-five percent for the good people of the place. Goodbye to the coffee place. That was a nice time. Really nice staff there, and that gave me the energy I needed because whoa. I was hungry. So guys, we're like kind of, I guess, right in the center. We've got a clock tower there, and it was just like in Candy. As soon as you were close to the clock tower, that's how you knew it was the center. So guys, we're walking around the city area over here, and we're kind of near the markets, but actually I'll be doing a market run in a separate video, so we won't take you to the markets for now. We're kind of just walking around and seeing like what uh, what this place has to offer. It seems like we're pretty close to the bus station, and so we are gonna kind of walk around, maybe find a little dessert, maybe cruise up this way. What do you think, bro, straight? Oh yeah. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Uh-huh. Looks like we've got a bunch of shops up there. I wonder if we can get them to honk the horn. These are the crazy buses that go like super, super fast around here. Hello, Machan. All right, we're cruising through here. If we hadn't just eaten, I'd probably get a little snacky snack over here. Whoa, we got our guy honking at us. Subo Dawika, Machan. Machan, the horn, the horn. Oh, he doesn't have the ones that make all the noise. Subo Dawasaka Machan. Subo Dankana. Oh, should we get henna, bro? Where? Yeah, you go for it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like they've got uh, quite a few temples in the city here. A huge uh, Buddha statue up top there. And it looks like a pretty decent sized temple here. And before going in, you just must know you need your trousers on, you need to take off your shoes. Yeah, let's do it. Take off the shoes here. Oh yeah. Take off the shoes and go for a cruise. Yeah, it's kind of a rhyme there. Oh, oh. Almost fell. Oh. All right, we'll take them with. Take them with so yeah, no one snatches them. Oh wow, very strong with incense in here. As you can see, got the kids jumping around. Hello. Komada. Handai. Very nice. Wow. So as you can see here, guys. Very strong with the incense. A lot of flowers here, they're part of the offerings. And, oh, so it looks like they have some oil set right here. And actually they even have a tree in the center with the statue up top. Man, that scent is so nice. Ah. Alright guys, fun little run through of the temple to check that place out. Very beautiful. It's really enjoyable to check each one of those out and so yeah now we're gonna keep cruising down this way for a little bit see what we run into it's a more of a hustle and bustle from what i've noticed here in the evenings which makes sense everyone's getting off work maybe going to the markets walking the streets there's a lot of restaurants a lot of shops down here it's a very inviting city i'm really enjoying walking around nuora elia and to be honest i wasn't sure that i was going to make it but how i even ended up here was because the train ticket actually was uh not available they were like sold out for a couple weeks if you saw my earlier video so then they were like oh you can get a ticket out of nuria uh Elia on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. So we're like, all right, let's spend 24 hours over there. Hello, Machan. Komada. And so, yeah, now we are just kind of cruising through the neighborhood. And so it all worked out. You know, sometimes the unplanned trips are the most exciting. So this is a, a fun way to get going through here. You got a lot of markets, shops. And as you can see, these streets are literally filling up with so many more people than earlier. Oh, we've got Machan playing the drums over there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Bump, 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 bump. Yes. There we go, Machan. There we go, Machan. Very good. Estute, Machan. Very good performance. Oh, good guys over here. If I had room for the drum, I would for sure have bought it. We got some street food going on back here. Looks like they're cooking in some oil, getting some stuff going on. Man, we screwed up since we just ate. Yeah, I know. Like that's smelling good. very, very good. Now I think we're back at the center. We've got the clock tower here and we're gonna see what else we can find. Guys, yeah, my first impression is this place is definitely an English town because as you can see here, Windsor Hotel, that's an English name. There is a lot of them. I don't know if I mentioned on the drive-in, there's Edinburgh, Edinburgh? I'm probably saying that wrong. And now we have that. And there's a lot of the, just the cottage style architecture that you see in the UK, but it's got the uh, Sri Lankan twist here, but it's a cool city. 
fun vibe overall, very lively. And if you're into going to the pubs, the Windsor Hotel at a pub, we got another pub and restaurant right there. So there's no shortage on having some fun out here in New Aria Ella, Elia. Yeah, all over the town though, you can find lots of markets here, but it seems like they uh, shut down pretty early here. I'm seeing more and more of these shops are uh, closing up for their last sales of the day. I don't know if this place is much of a night town, unless you go over to the pubs. A little desserts too. Oh yeah, I'm getting pretty tempted here. Fresh coconuts. I've noticed there's a lot of little markets, plus there's also like more of the uh, larger chain grocery stores kind of like mixed into the city. Up there, there's Food City. I recognize that one. Oh, we got them starting up. Food City, I've noticed in basically all the major cities, a big grocery store. Party Central up there. All right, we're gonna cross the street here. I feel like every time we're uh, changing up, we're on that side looking for stuff and then all of a sudden the markets are on this side. So let's see if they've got anything interesting to buy here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, a little shoe store. That could be tempting. We're gonna see what else we can find up around here. All right. Well, we've got fresh bags here. Hello, my friend. Hello. Uh, nice bags here, yeah? Yeah. Oh, all right. Maybe we'll get a uh, another camera bag over here. Uh-huh. Puma bag up there. That's not a bad, bad idea. They look like pretty high quality. 2,000 for the bag, that's a good price. Uh-huh. That is nice. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. Hello, my friend. Hello. Oh, fresh white shoes. That's not a bad idea. These look pretty nice. Do you have any all white shoes? Sorry? Hello, Machan. Hello, Machan. Hello. Uh, you have any all white shoes like this? All white? Yeah, all white. Because this? this one's, uh, oh, this one's all white. Yeah. 4395 You have something a little uh, less expensive? Let's see, we've got a lot of options here. We've got uh, flip flops, we've got leather shoes up there, and we've got the sneakers, athletic shoes on this side. Komada, Machan. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. I do a vlog. Oh yeah, vlog, my friend. Uh, What's your good name? Arkan. Arkan? What's your name? Nice to meet you, Mac. Arkan. It's good to meet you. So let's see here, guys. I'm trying to figure out what I should buy because I'm liking the shoes options they have here. Ideally, we get something like maybe this. Let's see what the prices are. It looks a little dirty, though, so maybe we're going to check out. Do you have any uh, less expensive than those? For now, we have only these white shoes. Only those, yeah? Okay. All right, all right. Well, maybe I'm going to keep looking then. Right. Stuti Machan. See you. Uh, can I know your YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, uh, you have a phone? Yeah, it's it. Got to get the uh, like, subscribe, and notifications on. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Stuti Machan. There we go, yeah, Machan. Okay. Good luck. Thank you, Machan. Good man over here. Take care, my friend. Okay, okay. See, you. See you. Guys, we're going to keep looking. The uh, white shoes I found were about 4300 So they were a little bit more than I want to spend. I want to say I got those back in the US for a little bit less than that. And so because they're white shoes, they get destroyed quite easily. And I don't want to spend too much on them, which 4300 guys, keep in mind, is still only like $22. But wearing them out here, they could get destroyed quite easily. So we got sweaters over there. Shoe repair. Maybe they do uh, shoe cleanings here. That's it. Hello, Machan. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, my friend. How are you? Uh, good, and you? Good, so far so good. Do you guys do uh, shoe cleanings or just shoe sales? Just shoe sales. Just shoe sales, okay. You have uh, any all white shoes here? All white? Right. Similar to these? Yeah. Oh, uh, do you have any that are all white? Because no, that's black there. Oh, Poma. Yeah. So it's similar to Puma, but it's Poma? Puma. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one, yeah? How much do you sell these for? Uh, 3990 3990 okay. If they were a bit cheaper, maybe, but since they're not all white. Uh, do you ah, want cheaper? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what is the price that you're expecting? I'm looking around uh, 3000 More. Oh, these are some interesting uh, styles. Here, look at this thing. Whoa. It looks like these shoes are on fire. <laughs> I like fire. Wow. How much do these sell for? Uh, 4,650. Oh, okay. Wow. That is a unique design right there. Yeah. I like them. Very nice. What's your good name, Machan? Uh, Abdul Haq. Abdul Haq. 
Nice to meet you. Komada. Welcome. Komada. Yeah, I'm Hyundai. Hyundai. From? Uh, from the US. US. Yeah. yeah. And you from uh, here, Nuari yeah, Aria? Yeah, it's a nice place. Very nice place. So let's see. What about these ones here? We've got Waxing Fashion. The design is changed, but the same pair. Yeah, same 3, pair. Okay. 3,990 rupees. We give right. 3,500 rupees. 3,000. this one. Ah, the thing is, I'm just looking for all white. Do you know anywhere that does shoe cleanings? No, no? okay. Oh, I'm gonna keep looking, maybe I'll come back. Okay. Stuti Machan, we'll see you. Because as you can see, my shoes got quite uh, quite dirty there, so I was gonna see if we could locate a shoe cleaner in this area, but so far, no luck yet. Really nice people though in all these shops. That's my impressions of this place, that uh, everyone's welcoming. I feel like people like being on camera here uh, quite a bit more than some of the other places I've been in Sri Lanka. Sometimes people shy away a little bit. Maybe it's just because of it's a language barrier. But after being in Pakistan, like I'm used to everyone just loving, loving, loving being on camera. And so, hey, nothing wrong with it. Just, uh, just my impressions of it. So we're still looking. We lost the British lad somewhere. He's probably out buying some stuff, but uh, we're going down a little bit more this way. And we shall see here. Oh, all right. We've got some uh, gloves here. Sure. Yeah, all right. Oh, nice gloves, yeah? Oh, the ones with the fingers cut off. How much uh, are you selling these ones for? This one is 400. 400, yeah. 600. Okay. Yeah, let me, uh, let me buy these ones then, please, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take those ones. You want this? Yep, so that way I can still text with them, right? Since the fingers are cut? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. All right, Machan. So we're getting ourselves a fresh pair of gloves here, guys. Figured it gets chilly here at night, so might as well warm up the hands a bit. See what we got here. Do we have 400 already? We're about to find out. That's two. We got another two in there. That's three. And that is four right there. All right. Well, there we go, Machan. 400? That's two day. We'll try these bad boys on right now. Uh-huh. Let's get them on. We got one. Oh, looks like we got a tag on the inside. There we go. Got her out. And uh-huh. I'd say those fit quite nicely. There we go. Uh-huh. We're warming up. Let's try out the other one. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, as you can see, fresh new pair of gloves. Stuti Machan, what's your good name? Ahmed. Ahmed. Thank you, Ahmed. Machan, we'll see you later. All right. That is great guys, fresh new pair of gloves. These will come in handy while we're both here and then I heard down in Ella where we're gonna be heading in a couple videos that it gets uh, quite cold there at night. So to have something to keep us warm for a bit that doesn't take up too much room in the suitcase is a good purchase here. The British lad, hello sire. I need a chicken thigh. All good? Oh yeah bro, new purchase. Oh no Check them out, yeah nice. bro, new, new pair of gloves here. What'd you find? Anything? Some Calvin uh, Ralph Lauren socks. Oh man, this guy's yeah. living on the high life. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I guess we're gonna keep walking down this way, guys. See if there's anything else. We've uh, we've checked out a few places so far since we were here only in the afternoon. We were a bit limited on some of the things we could check out uh, because obviously it was raining when you first saw when we arrived here. Plus, it was only like four or five hours till the sun went down. So there's Ramachan Stute, and so yeah, we're gonna cruise a bit more and. See if there's anything else interesting to show you guys tonight. There's a lot of wine stores I've noticed. Get your beers, get your bottles of alcohol, anything you want there. Komada Machan. Hi. Hey. Honest Tuk Tuk driver takes us for a joyride. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're cruising back and it looks like our coffee shop we were at a little bit ago is now getting a little evening vibe. Komada, my friends. Ah, Komada. Perfect, perfect. They've got a fire, bonfire pit outside there. So I guess there is a little bit of uh, excitement here at night, quite a bit. A bit more than candy, because I will say candy shut down pretty early, but there were a few places, as you saw in one of the videos, when we went up to Slightly Chilled, they could uh, do some stuff. But you can feel it's a bit more lively. It is, well, like 6, 7 p.m., 7 p.m., 7.30ish? Um, yeah, 7. 7 o'clock, yeah. So I guess it is still relatively early. But uh, yeah, we're kind of walking back towards our place. And bam, guys, just teleported back to the hotel or apartment or I guess Airbnb that we're staying at. Not Airbnb, booking.com. I'm tired today. But anyways, guys, yeah, my first impressions overall, like to sum it up, a very beautiful mountain town. And I'm so shocked we were here on the only cloudy day. So is what it is, but just walking around, the locals were super nice here, welcoming. A lot of tourists here, definitely like saw a lot of foreigners on the streets walking around. So I'm sure that's because everyone wants to come and see what it's like in the heart of the tea plantation or the city that surrounds basically all the tea plantations. So yeah, a really cool place. I, if we had more time in the schedule, I would probably want to stay maybe 
two nights, three nights, and that'd probably be a good enough amount of time. I guess there's a mountain you can check out. There is also uh, the tea plantations. Of course, you can go and do a full tour of them. So maybe maybe I'll do that in an upcoming video when we kind of wrap back around, like after Gaul. We'll see though, you know, like unfortunately, I've, fortunately and unfortunately, I have so much ground to cover over the next uh, basically three weeks that I think I'll still be here. And during that time, I've got a lot to see. I did do, if you were watching the uh, series for a while. I did already do a tea factory tour, which is awesome. Learned a lot about tea. And so that was a lot of fun. But here in the heart of where all of the tea exports come from, where the majority of it comes from would be also an incredible experience. So we'll try and do that guys. But uh, yeah, in general, a really cool place. If you can fit into your itinerary, definitely do it. And uh, you know, the train ride here, if you saw that in a previous video too, so much fun. So that's where I'm gonna end it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button below. If you wanna see more videos, both here in Sri Lanka and all around the world, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.